Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Earthbound. In the last part, we got here to, um, voice side again. We entered the Matoy building, um, and, uh, we actually just, uh, took on this clumsy robot that, you know, made Ness collapse and stuff, and it was not fun. And now we were also rescued, in that fight we were rescued by 105, uh, Lucky turned uh, the switch on the robot to off and was able to make it stop moving. We won the battle. So yeah, and we also reunited with Paula, uh, Pokey took the helicopter that Mr. Montoli, um, had, and Mr. Montoli is now good because it destroyed the Money Money statue, he's no, he's no longer under Guy Gas's control. So now we're just trying to, like, make our way out to, um, the front of the, front of the building. Or the building in general. Hello, how are you? This is Apple Kid. I think I'm a genius, in fact. I know I'm a genius. Why? Well, I've discovered the primary enemy of you and your... And all of humanity. We have to fight and defeat that being, this being. Um, to do so, we need to invent a machine called the Phase Disorder. I've got to find the wanderings, scientists, Dr. and Donuts, and Ross, and... Make the disorder, uh, yeah, disorder, yeah, disorder. There we go. So I um, may be gone for a while. Really quick. And also, the runway five offered us a ride in the uh, tour bus to go back to three, which is where we need we need to go to next. So yeah, are you a fan of the runway five? Would it, would an autograph be asking for too much? Nah, I don't mean your autograph, silly. <laughs> okay, you don't want Nessa's autograph. That's that's cool. It'll just be like that. Fine. So we're almost out of this building, so that's good. So let's go down one more elevator and out one more door. Yeah, that's it, really. Yeah, 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 but you're happy, yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. I'm out of here. Hello, this is Orange Kid. Sorry I haven't called lately. I still, what, I'm still working on the way to change boiled eggs into raw eggs. It's taking longer than I thought. I'm going to, to work really hard at it though. Talk to me later. Click. Okay. Let's talk to um, this guy, the red guy for an over five, I guess. Okay, you can get in on the bus now. Yeah, then we just go th right into the hood of the bus, really, and just magically, like, face through the bus, like we're a ghost or something. Alright, on to three. Now, I think you can actually run over a pedestrian, um, if he's placed right. But it doesn't hurt him or anything, of course. It's just like if you, like, walk right through him, basically, drive right through him. But uh, I guess it didn't happen that time, so that's good. No people were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> yeah, okay. We could use PSI teleportation technically to get back to Winters, but uh, we're going to go back to Thweed, and then we're going to go back to, to Winters. If I, I think that's the first time I actually mentioned that. We're going to go to Thweed first, and then we have to go back to um, Winters. I like the music here, it's pretty nice. I like this music a lot. The bus is still pretty cool too. There we go. And look, we're back in three. Okay. Alright, we made it. I'm sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember though, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine the Runaway 5 singing somewhere far, far away. By the way, why did you need to come back here? You must have forgotten some, some very important item or gadget here. How is that for a guess? Am I close? Yeah, you're actually right close. We have to get back the, um, the one machine that Jeff used to, um, Fly from uh, Winters to Three to help us keep Ness and Paul way back, and I think like part 20-ish or something, 25th. 
25th part, 26th part, I don't even know. <laughs> well, you don't have to tell me. See you later and good luck. Okay. And then just drive off. So yeah, let's read this sign real quick. The graf there's graffiti here. Just pay it. Just play it. I think that was the slogan for Nintendo in the 90s. Uh, just play it. That's what the slogan was. Okay. Woo, dude, like my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down here. Uh, man, I totally bummed because I have another girlfriend here in the feed. Oh, that's okay. Are you being. Are you, are you cheating on your girlfriend from Tucson? How could you do that? Let's look at this guy. I lost my key to my house, so I can't get in. No, no, you don't need to look for it. I'll look for it myself. Okay. I don't think we can really help him either way, because I don't think we can pick up items like that. But we could. We could possibly pick up items like that. I can't remember. It's possible, yeah. It says, don't enter, not do not enter. Don't enter. Instead of, do not enter. <laughs> Okay, let's enter it anyway. Let's enter the graveyard anyway. Okay, so what we want to do from the graveyard is actually go down this ladder right here. And if this looks familiar, because it's like all blue and stuff. So it looks pretty familiar. Yeah, you go through this door. And look, the machine is fixed. We painted over the damaged parts of the Skyrun. Okay, it's called the Skyrun. I forgot what it was called. Skyrun, okay, cool. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. Talk to you now. I want to stay. If you, I want you to stay. But if you can't, so long. Thanks for every little thing. You're welcome. Let's go on the Skyrunner. Let's just exam, uh, check it. I guess with the R or the L button. I mean, ah, here's the problem, and it's not too tough to fix. Hang on a sec. Uh, hang on for a sec or two. Yeah, it sounds like Jeff has a drill. It could be used as a potential weapon in battle mode, but he doesn't really use it. He uses a gun in battle mode, of course. And whatever science stuff he has, like a bottle rocket, a big bottle rocket, a bomb, or so forth. Yeah, there. That should do it. And uh, now, if we board, the Skyrunner will take us back to Winters. That's awesome. We need Dr. Anandote's health. Anandote's health. <laughs> Please help. Uh, I can modify the machine to fly to somewhere. If Dad, I mean Dr. And Anandote, you can call him Dad. It's not, it's, it's not available. I'll have to figure out it out by myself. Anyway, let's go back to Winters. Let's go back to the lab out in Winters. That's it. Go machine, go. No, you can call him Dad, though. I mean, he's your dad. He has to call him Dr. And Donuts, or whatever his name is. I butchered his last name so many times already in this Let's Play. It's not even funny. Like, I can't even, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'll, look up on, I'll probably look up on the uh, Earthbound wiki if I, don't, if I don't forget on how to pronounce his name, because it's probably his pronunciations on the wiki of Earthbound or something. So, yeah. That's a lot of trees right there. <laughs> We're up in the sky again. I like the music for the sky run, it's pretty cool. Bye, desert. <laughs> Dusty Dunes Desert. Now that I remember the name actually. We're up in the clouds again. It's, it, it flies so slowly in the sky, but when it's close to the ground, it flies away fast. Like, what the heck, man? Talk about inconsistency. Inconsistency. I don't think I said that word right. Inconsistency. I don't know. Oh, there was foresight, by the way. And we're up in the sky again. I like how the it's all cloudy, but then you can see the sky blue sky. It's actually a nice color for the sky. And nice clouds. Yeah. And then there's the labs that went there's the labs the lab at Winters. Awesome. We went safely on the ground in the lab. Nice. Cause it has a sky roof and everything. First to um go through. Uh, thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. I think that means that tied the knot means like get married or something. Got married. Yeah. Okay, honey, we just don't don't just stand there with your mouth open. And say hello. So, you passed by a cave, uh, north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? I uh, can't seem to stop thinking about it. 
Go, go and see what's there. Okay, that's good. That's a good idea. We got a lead. We got a lead, everyone. Well, we're going to get out of here. We're still, we're still newlyweds, you know. Bye bye. Okay. And then just go off. And I think time in this Earthbound game, like, if it said the, um, thanks for helping my husband out the other day. It's been a while since, Nest, uh, it's been a while since Jeff has actually been in winters, so maybe only time passes by very slowly or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, let's talk to you, you know, Dr. Ann Donuts. <laughs> oh, you surprised me, you're nice, aren't you? Jeff wants what's his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Take care of yourself, Jeff. Uh, and, uh, I misread that last bit of dialogue. The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. You wonder what's inside the cave, but, uh, huh? I understand. While you're checking on that, out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes. My coworker Bigfoot dislikes violence. He's such a nice, he's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Cool. So it's actually gone here. Instant revival, uh, revi revi revitalizing device. I'm only f in only a few seconds, this machine forced to revitalize this year. Sorry. <laughs> Just like a good night's sleep. And there we go, nice. So yeah, I think we had maybe max HP and max PP before, but that's okay. So yeah, this, I'm gonna end the part right here, so this has been my Earthbound Let's Play part. The next part will take on another Sanctuary boss, pretty much, because it's close by. So yeah, uh, and uh, probably explore um, Summaries if you get the chance, I'm not sure. But yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for saying goodbye, and I hope to see you guys next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.